I want to treat this with the sensitivity that it deserves. Don't, not trying to be offensive, nothing at all, but definitely trying to break this like separation down that I see between people of the LGBTQ community, um, people of the non-binary identifying community, if you will. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty confusing. It is very confusing. Um, I talked about it in a video where a non-binary teacher was going into a classroom of four-year-old students and that could be pretty confusing. And I saw this video come across my screen the other day and I was like, I definitely have some things to clear up on it. Definitely going to talk some things about it because this woman here came out on a post on TikTok and she pretty much just put herself out there explaining all of her pronouns, neo pronouns, the whole nine, like just giving everybody the rundown of who she is. But what I thought of it when I saw it was I definitely think that there is something going on and definitely something wrong with the people that find themselves in these kinds of situations and positions. So let's check this out, man. Let's get into it. Hi there. I'm Cody. Pronouns E M R R S or Z Z M Z R Z R S or really any neo pronouns that aren't Z H E R H E R S. This is my first foray into TikTok. I come from the world of Instagram, where I had decided at one point that I was going to micro vlog my gender transition, which might be the most pretentious thing I have ever said or tried to do. But I really just want to introduce myself and open myself up for questions. So again, hi, I'm Cody. I am a white, transmasculine, femme, non-binary, temporarily, mostly able-bodied, neurodivergent, obsessive, compulsive, chronically ill, culturally Jewish, unitarian, universalist, non-monogamous, demi-low romantic, gray demi-bisexual, survivor of acute and complex trauma, millennial, and cat parent in mental health recovery. My identities are fluid and ever-changing and don't like boundaries. And I just want to open myself up as a resource. If you have any questions, please ask. So... I'm like that at the very end, after all those pronouns that she introduced herself with, I like there that at the very end, she did mention that she's in mental health recovery. Now, I've always mentioned this, and like I said, I'm coming in peace. I definitely believe that it is a mental health situation, a mental health disorder, if you will, that's taking place for people to believe that they are these pronouns that they're saying they are. I was interested because when she did post this, now this was a while back, but it wasn't until just recently that I discovered it. Now, when she posted this, there was a lot of things that people had to say. I mean, it's very confusing. I mean, at first we're trying to understand the difference between, you know, men and women these days, because even that's getting so fluid. And, you know, they're adding other non-binary genders and they're saying there's more than two genders. So, like, it's like as a nation, we're trying to understand that, bro. As people, we're trying to get an understanding of what that is all about, let alone throwing in 15, 17 more. You know what I mean? I know she said if anyone has questions, please ask. Yeah, we do have questions. I have a question. And my main question for this community and just for people that find themselves in these kinds of situations believing this my main question is what's going on like what's really going on like i really want to know what makes a person believe in something that has just never really been proven to be a thing you know uh and and i guess it's because if you go back far enough you go all the way to birth it's like Bro, when babies are being born, they're not saying, what are you having? Is it going to be a boy, a girl, a zer, an X, an M, a Y? It's not going to be that. It's still just as simple as, is it a boy or is it a girl? When there's gender reveal parties that people have, there's still only two genders taking place. So it's like on one end, they're trying to get people to understand it and, 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 be down with it and support it and accept it but it doesn't make sense if you go back far enough to even prove when people are saying there are more than one gender and it's like 
wh- what? No, I think this is more of a protest than anything else. But what is it a protest to? Is it a protest against life because you want to go against the grain so much? Is it, you know, just a protest to be rebellious? Um, is it a protest for attention? Are we spreading awareness for mental health? You know, what is it really for? You know, those are the questions that I would say um, that she said if people had questions asked because people were in the comment section of that post really kind of bashing her. And, and I get it. You know what I mean? It's not the time and place to be mean and harsh. That's why I said I come in peace with this because usually I am a little bit more harsh on this topic. But I definitely just really have that question, you know, that it's like what what really makes a person believe that, you know, uh, that there are more than two genders? You know, how can we make sense of it? Like, where's the proof? What does that look like? Because it's it's we only have men and women, but it's it's like the other genders that people are saying exist. They look like women or man, but they're just making up other titles, creating neo pronouns and 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 all these other things that she was saying that they have now these days which is just very interesting and kind of just far off to me but like i said i know it wasn't the time and place to be mean and harsh and i'm gonna show you another clip because she responded and you're even gonna see the transformation because she's going through a transformation here you know is this gender reaffirmation and that whole whole ordeal she's going through that here so in this next clip it's it's a little while down the ways after she had posted this one and you're gonna get to see that her voice is even getting a little bit deeper um her face you know what i mean it's starting to change you know she's starting to look a little bit different going through that transition that she says she's going through but her response to everyone saying what they said as they came back in response to her making this post let's check that out video is going around again and i figured you know what may as well get the views on my own page i am manifesting a new era of my life and i am peak cringe and i do not care what the bigots think that said, I do want to talk about the video for just a moment. A whole bunch of people asked me if it was satire as soon as I put it out, and of course I said no because I was upset and because those were labels that I went by. But I suppose the answer to the question is this satire is a little bit more complex and, dare I say, nuanced. I still do use most of those labels. The temporarily mostly able-bodied one was an experiment of a label that did not work. But the point of the video was kind of that even though I do use all of those labels, It still piles up and feels like a lot sometimes. Yes, it was meant to poke fun at myself a little bit. It was not meant to become a place for folks to let out hate because people use micro-labels or neo-pronouns. I remain firm in my stance that micro-labels and neo-pronouns are entirely valid for anyone who wants to use them for themselves. So I'm gonna leave that video up for a while and see how it goes. And I don't expect the bigots who are just gonna tell me something like, oh, just be normal, to actually watch this video, but I do expect the folks who are engaging in genuine conversation to. So for those of you who actually want to interact and not get blocked, do not feed the trolls. Please just stay away from that comment section in general, because I do not have the capacity to moderate it. I will do the best that I can, but I do not have capacity. And I may delete comments I simply don't like, because it's my video. And on that note, no, you probably can't take me making this video as me being back. Okay, I'm so that's still- pretty much the end of that. She went on a pretty much spiel after that about talking about how she's going to school and everything and she's not going to be on TikTok anymore. But what's interesting to me about, you know, these people is that, and what I want to know is, is this just a search for true identity of where you're like trying to find identity, but you don't really know where to find it so we can just attach ourselves to different labels? Um, Because I think it would be very exhausting if I had to explain and introduce myself by my pronouns by every time I had to introduce myself to someone because on the outside looking in, I'm going to look at this person and I'm going to believe that that is a woman and I'm going to address her as a woman. And she's going to have to then correct me and say, no, I am Zer pronoun, the, the whole thing that she went down with all those um, binaries, uh, as she was saying. she First she said identities, but then she corrected herself there and said binaries. But it's like, that would be exhausting. I don't know that I could do that. I don't know, you know, why people would do such a thing because it's, it's almost like we're, the truth is no longer the truth anymore. 
I'm just going to be honest. That's that's what it's seeming like we're moving into where the truth is just simply not the truth. If I look at a woman and I see a woman, it's not a woman. Just because I see her to be a woman, that means it doesn't mean that she's a woman. That's where we're kind of moving. That's the direction we're moving in as a society. And that's very scary. And it's also very terrible. Now, she kept talking about bigots. That, that's that's that, that's a lot of things that people in this community that they say. And I really wanted to make sure that people were using that uh, correctly. Bigot. You know, all the bigots are going to say something. Oh, you bigot. I mean, I've had people in my comment section before calling me a bigot because of what I'm talking about. But it's like a bigot here, uh, by definition, a person who strongly and unfairly dislikes other people's ideas. Um, a bigoted person, especially a person who hates or refuses to accept the members of a particular group, such as a racial or religious group, he was labeled a bigot after making some offensive comments. So that's what you can that, that's where they're using. So they're saying people that are making the offensive comments um, are bigoted. But in order for a person to be a bigoted person, they would have to not accept the members. Now, here's where I always mention that people are misunderstanding here. It's not that we don't accept the member, meaning you. We accept you. We just do not understand something that has not been proven to even be factual enough to even take the time to understand it. I hope I made sense there. You'll catch that if you weren't it back. But the thing about this is that it's not a bigoted thing. It's give me an explanation and help me understand now, because that's how I live, bro. Get a better understanding. Bible talks about that. So if you can't give me a better understanding on something that you're heavily preaching on and heavily teaching and, you know, heavily expressing and wanting other people to support. And if not, they're bigoted. If you can't give me a, a deeper understanding on it, well, then I can't support it but it does not mean that i don't accept you you see what i'm saying but i'm going to accept you for who you are and and i don't think that people should be upset about it um if they are not identified the way that they want to be identified if they are not approached or addressed by the correct pronouns because the reality of it is there's only man and then there's only women there's no other gender that has been proven to mankind, to the world. It, it's just it has not been a thing. And my take from that man is that I think that these people are definitely is what she said was in mental health recovery. I think that these people are definitely struggling with some mental health. And I think that seeking out some sort of counseling and, you know, some sort of a help um is something that they should do man and i'm just coming from a genuine place you know i'm not trying to be rude like i said i'm not trying to offend anyone of that community and like i said if you could help me get a better understanding of that drop something in the comment section for me so that way i can understand what does cause a person and and why are people now identifying more and more with other things outside of the two genders that i know to be the sole and only genders man and woman male female boy girl you know, so like I said, I'm open to discussion, man. I'm, 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 my, my comment section is a free space um, for anyone to say exactly what they want. You know, no matter what that is, uh, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. And I am excited to be able to read and see those things and what you guys say to even get a better understanding myself. Um, you know, there's there's I mean, people say all kinds of things down there, you know. But so, you know what I mean? Don't be afraid to share what you have to say, you know, because everybody can learn. Everybody can learn from something. And that's the whole point of this channel. But that's all I got for you guys on this one, man. Pray for, you know, this woman. I know she was going through that transition there. And, you know, there's another video I did where a woman did uh, a man did a transition to a woman and, you know, came out and did a testimony and doing that transition right back to a man. And, you know, people are saying you really never transition. There's really no transitions. But, hey, there's medical treatments that have advanced to where there is somewhat of a transition that can take place but let's pray for these people in this community man but i appreciate you guys as always for staying to the end to the next one guys i'm out